Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you guys are new. Today's video is going to be an influencer Vox Vox review. So I'm gonna be reviewing this bad boy right here. This is the Hourglass Cruelty Free Luxury Beauty Vox Box. And what it came with was the Hourglass Unlocked Instant Extensions Mascara. What a name, this bad boy right here. Um, I apologize if this isn't like as good a quality as whenever I use like my actual camera, but all my batteries are dead and um, I didn't realize it until, you know, like two seconds before this video. So we're filming it on my phone. So hopefully it's not like too terrible of quality. Um, I definitely like the blurred background so much more whenever like I use my camera because I hate that you guys can like see all of like my mess and stuff that's going on in the background, but we're going to ignore it. We're going to go ahead and jump right into this video. Let's Card. Okay, so I found the card. <laughs> Brandon always gets like so intrigued whenever I get any kind of package and so he literally opens up all of my mail and so he opened this up and this was laying on the counter. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and read what it says. So this mascara transforms lashes with film forming technology that coats from root to tip for a high impact fan out finish. 100% said it instantly linked in lashes, 93% said it made eyes look more open, and 93% said it was smudge proof all day long. So how to use, starting at the base of the lashes, pull mascara brush straight through from root to tip for intense definition, length and lift. To remove splash water, <laughs> to remove splash warm water onto eyes, gently use fingertips to slide mascara tubes from the lashes. So this is actually a tube mascara, which I'm so, freaking excited about. I've only ever used a tube mascara one time in my entire life and it's like so stinking cool. And I'm really excited to try it out. My only like drawback to this mascara is that it's not waterproof. And so like, I don't think it'll keep like my lashes curled. Um, so I'm not gonna curl my lashes right now. I'm gonna wait until I've applied the mascara and then I'm gonna curl my lashes afterwards and I'll probably end up having to heat up my eyelash curler with like a blow dryer please ignore my hair there's like a big chunk of dry shampoo right there I just noticed that wow okay whatever um okay anything else on the packaging nope this is an ultra black all right that's all we got going on so I'm gonna go ahead and start applying the mascara and then I'll give you just like a quick little spiel on what Influencer is. Obviously this video is not sponsored. I wish it was, that would be amazing. But they did send me this product for free to test out. What the heck is going on with my hair? Okay. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start applying it on this. Ooh, I can definitely see that it's like tubey, which is so cool. Uh, I'm gonna start applying it on my right eye so just to give you like a very short version, Influencer is basically a company that will send you free products in order for you to review them. So how's the best way to explain this? I definitely should have wrote down some notes before I started this video, but you know, whatever. So you don't have to have any kind of following to sign up for influencer like whatsoever. You don't even have to have social media. There are certain like Vox boxes that do require you to have social media um, just because they do require you to like post uh, like a picture or something on Instagram, but you don't have to have like any kind of following whatsoever. I think I signed up for influencer whenever I had like less than 200 subscribers or less than 200 followers on Instagram. So like, and I don't even think I had a YouTube channel. Um, you literally don't have to have anything. Okay. That's what the mascara looks like with one coat without curling my lashes. Again, I'm gonna wait to curl my lashes afterwards. I'm gonna go ahead and um, put a little bit on the bottom lashes. But yeah, like I said, you don't have to have any kind of following whatsoever. It does help that if you have a following. Um, basically what they call it is like your reach. And so if you do have like, say you do have like 500 subscribers on YouTube. Okay, that means that 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 classifies that you have a reach of 500 which means you can reach 500 people if you were to post like a video does that make sense um so it definitely helps but you don't have to have like all these different social medias and sometimes and it's not just makeup either sometimes it is new products sometimes it's not it's literally like so many different things. I've gotten majority of the stuff that I get is makeup, 
Um, but I've actually even gotten like one of those, is it Breda? Brita? Brita maybe? It was just like a, like a pitcher for like water, but it was like a water filtration pitcher. It like filtered your water to make it like better. And so I've gotten like a lot of different things. Majority of definitely makeup, but I've gotten like candy and some lifestyle stuff. But yeah, so it's just like all different sorts of things. And basically they just, they have you do like these snaps, they call them snaps, but they're just like these little mini reviews on products. I definitely don't like this without my lashes curled. So hopefully it looks good after I curl my lashes. They do have you do like these little snaps is what they call them, which is basically just like little mini reviews in order to find out what you like and what like kind of box boxes would be a good fit for you. So obviously the majority of my stuff is like makeup and beauty stuff and like a few lifestyle items. I think I've even gotten like dog treats before um, cause I have a dog. And so you do like these little reviews and like answer these like little questions in order for them to find out what would be like good for you. Like what would be a good product to send you. So I will have all of the information about influencer linked linked as well as like listed out in the description box. Cause I'm going to have like a way more detailed description of everything and like how you sign up and all that good stuff. Um, like I said, not sponsored, not getting paid to say this or anything like that. It's just a product or it's just a company that I have used literally for years. I'm so freaking excited to try this mascara out. And I actually even got the RMS. Yeah, the RMS Beauty uh, Box box as well. I just got them in the mail yesterday. And so I'll definitely be doing a review on that one too. Because that one, they sent me three products. So that'll be fun to try out. Okay. Definitely looking like a little spidery. And I definitely do not like the way it looks without my lashes curled. I hate when my lashes like look like this. I, I just don't like it. I do like it on the bottom lashes. Um, I do think it looks a little strange with like my top lashes not really doing much because I do think that they look definitely like super spread out and they look really good. Like this would honestly be like a really good mascara to use with like fake lashes just so that your like bottom lashes kind of look more cohesive, if that makes sense at all. Hopefully this video isn't all over the place. I actually filmed a different video to go up for Wednesday this week, but I went to go edit it and literally like, I don't know how, but some of the footage got deleted. And so I had to like sit quickly, like hurry up and film a video. So hopefully this video isn't all over the place. Um, I mean, this definitely isn't going up Wednesday cause I'm filming it on Thursday, but it will go up today, which is Thursday. So you guys will be seeing this like literally in a couple hours. So yeah. All right. I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes real quick just without heating them up, but I will probably have to heat up my lash curl in a minute, but let's try it out. Fingers crossed. Okay. So far, not a fan. They're definitely not wanting to stay up which I'm not surprised, but definitely heating up my lash curler, I think will help tremendously. So, oh, of course I have that all over me. I'm gonna go get my blow dryer in just a second. Okay, actually I'm not gonna go get my blow dryer because I just remembered I don't have a plug-in to plug it in at this location. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna go heat it up, but I will curl it on camera. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back with a heated lash curler and let's see what happens. Hopefully they stay up. Okay, not loving the way that they stayed up, but they did stay up. <laughs> You're definitely gonna hear Tinsley making her little noises. Like I said, <laughs> she's barking right now. This one looks a lot better than this one, but honestly, it's looking super spidery. And 
and like clumpy almost. But it's not bad. They are staying up a lot better than I thought they were going to. Okay, I'm gonna go in with my little lash comb. Kinda try and separate them. Okay. I feel like my lash comb is just literally taking off like all the mascara. <laughs> I don't know why, but it's like not, it's like coming off. Well, actually I do know why. It's cause it's like that tube mascara and that's why it's coming off whenever I run my lash comb through it because it's all like packed together. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, and every single time I curl them, they just get like right back. They're just like packed right together. I am gonna put a little bit more mascara on in a couple places just because it completely came off like in this little chunk right here. I don't know if you guys will be able to tell. I'll definitely get you guys closer in just a minute. And they are really falling. I am not a fan right now. Like looking in the mirror, I do not like the way it looks whatsoever. I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit. And by zoom you guys in, I'm going to come closer to the camera considering this isn't my actual camera and it's my phone but this is what it looks like i don't know what do you guys think from a distance it doesn't look bad like looking in the mirror behind the camera like it actually looks like oh hey like we're at attention we're, we look good like we're voluminous and we're long and then up close it's just like okay this is a little bit of a clumpy mess like i don't even feel like it's coming across on camera just how like clumpy it looks and just how like of a mess it looks i'm going to take you guys over to natural lighting and we'll see hopefully you guys can like actually see it because i'm gonna get really close really up close and personal let's do it okay hopefully you guys can kind of see but i know looking they don't look actually that bad on camera. So this may be a really good like mascara to use whenever I'm like just on filming days and I like want my lashes to look good on camera, but not in person. Um, Cause in person they look like a clumpy mess and I definitely would not wear this like mascara out somewhere where I was gonna be close to people. Like, but I definitely wear it like on a filming day. Okay. It actually looks really good on camera. I'm gonna go ahead and say that. It looks really good. Like whenever I'm looking at it, I'm just like, damn, like these look real good. But no, not in person. In person they don't. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and go throughout my day and then I am gonna show you show you guys whenever I go to take it off just because it does have like that tube mascara and it's gonna be so cool whenever it comes off. So I am gonna show you guys that. But what I would say as of right now, if you guys had like perfectly like curled like long lashes, well not even like long because this would actually really help lengthen lashes but if you got like perfectly curled voluminous lashes and you just needed length then this mascara would be great be awesome but if you have if you don't have a lot of volume but you already have the length probably not going to be the best for you okay okay i had to pick her up because she was barking and going insane um but i say that this probably wouldn't be the best for you if you just like needed to add volume because this isn't very voluminous um and if you have straight lashes like me i'd go ahead and just go ahead and pass on it just because i don't know it's not the best but if you are a youtuber or if you have an instagram and you just like want it for pictures i mean it's kind of expensive it's like 30 bucks but i don't know you do you because it does look good on camera like it's looking real good okay okay all right Let's go about our day and I will talk to you guys at the end of the day when I take my makeup off. Please ignore my appearance. I went on a little walk and it is raining outside and it's hot. So I'm sweating and there's rain and it's just, it's a mess. 
I will say though, my makeup held up pretty well for it being like sweaty and wet. So I'm actually impressed, but I have my robe on because I actually literally just went to go get into the shower and then I remembered I have to film this part of the video. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is on this eye, I'm just gonna use a makeup wipe to see what it does. And then on this eye, I'm gonna use, or I'm gonna actually like switch that. Um, you're probably gonna hear Brandon because she's in another room, but I'm just gonna use some water on this eye and show you guys the tubes. Look at that. Let me see that, we got some. How freaking cool is that? I don't care what anyone says, that is the coolest thing ever. Sorry, water or something. I don't care what anyone says, that is so cool. But it literally just comes right off with water. Like, literally, it's gone after that. Like, literally, it's gone. And then I'm gonna do a makeup wipe on this side. Just to see. Yeah, same thing, it just literally, that's crazy. It definitely works better with water. I'd recommend. Wow. Wow. That's amazing. So cool. So cool. Alright, I'll talk to you guys when I get my makeup off. Hold on. Alright, now that I got all my makeup off, literally tube mascara is the easiest makeup or easiest mascara to get off in the entire world. If you struggle with taking your mascara off, literally just use tube mascara because it literally just water. It's so easy. But that is it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please. My appearance. Ugh. Ugh. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please go if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.